everybody, welcome back, it's your esthetician Rayleigh. So I received a really interesting question about LED light therapy, it's a six part question and I thought I'll answer it here on YouTube just in case there's other people out there who want to know. And I'm so excited about this question because that means there's consumer interest in there, people want to know what are they using, how it exactly works, what are the specifications, what are nanometers, which devices to trust and is there any health risks using it? and is it approved by FDA. But before I get to answering these questions, I want to do a quick summary. What is LED light therapy and how it exactly works? So what it is and how it works, you probably heard something about NASA technology. NASA developed that technology to help heal the astronauts up in the space station if they got any damage to their bodies. So the LED light therapy helps to heal and recover faster. But beauty industry has taken over that technology and now we're using it for anti-aging purposes. So when body and our skin is exposed to different wavelengths, meaning different colors of the wavelength, then the body can heal more effectively and therefore reduce signs of aging. In order for the light therapy to work, the light particles called photons need to be able to penetrate and absorb by the body. Therefore, it's really important to use the light when your skin is fully cleansed and exfoliated, then the light can penetrate more easier. And the way it does that, it goes through your skin, through the cell membrane and into the cell mitochondria where it creates energy. Once the light particle photon has entered cell mitochondria, it creates energy called ATP which increases cellular activity and mitosis, meaning it's immediately when, you're, when the light hits your skin or your body, it starts creating new healthy cells. And enough energy makes our body cells healthy, efficient, full of life, and therefore your body is able to heal and recover faster. So there's different colors, different wavelengths of light. We start out with the busiest wavelength is 420 nanometers, and that's the blue light. It only works on the surface of it, your skin, on the epidermis, it doesn't go deep into your skin, therefore it's used for acneic skins. It kills bacteria and is effective for acneic skin types. So the next wavelength we have is the red light and the red is 630 nanometers. It goes two centimeters into your skin just to that dermal layer where it's able to stimulate collagen production. So it's really good for anti-aging. Red light is mostly used for anti-aging and building collagen purposes. Next one we have infrared light. Infrared is the deepest nanometers. The infrared is 880, it's the deepest wavelength, it go, it's able to go up to 8 centimeters into your body, therefore it's really great use for inflammation, creating those healthy cells in that layer of your body. It is used for pre and post operative surgeries, good to start doing a protocol a couple of weeks before you have let's say a facelift or any kind of surgery like that, you will be able to recover better, more efficiently and faster if you do incorporate some red and infrared lights before and post your surgeries. And it also applies for any kind of other invasive procedure, even your chemical peels and uh, microneedling procedures as well. So what's the typical protocol if you do want to do a treatment regime with the lights? It's recommended minimum six treatments for the period of 21 to 28 days and 21 to 28 days that's just our body cell cycle. So you want to do them about twice a week or so and you'll see changes in your, first you see changes in your elasticity in your skin that will appear uh, around week eight and to see changes in collagen you'll see after three months. That's just how long it takes for our body to regenerate new collagen. If you are using professional grade LED lights, you don't want to do them every day. It might be a little bit oxidative stress to your body. So it's recommended to do it every 36 to 48 hours, a session around 10 to 15 minutes. So it's always a good idea to use antioxidant serum after post-treatment. You can use vitamin C serum as well. That helps to combat any free radicals that may have happened during the treatment. So I hope this was a good explanation, a quick summary of what the LED lights are and how 
how exactly it works. If I missed something or you didn't get an answer to a specific question you had, please leave a comment below and I will answer in the comments for you. So far, if you learned anything new, please be so kind and subscribe and give a like. So let's get to those specific questions now. And the question number one, what are the specifications, nanometers uh, emitting waves that are proven by research and uh, approved by FDA to be effective on skin or dissolving fat? Good question. Now, uh, nanometers, we already uh, covered that area. So uh, proven by, uh, approved by FDA. So the technology is approved by FDA for uh, pain relieving, also anti-aging purposes, building collagen. So yes, now, but you have to be a little bit careful with it. Sometimes you find some people wanna sell you a device, LED device and say that this, is, this device is FDA approved. They might be referring to the technology, that the technology is FDA approved, but the device actually might not be. You can always clarify that with them, ask them for proof. Uh, nobody says you can't do that. So the answer to the second part of the question, is it ap approved for fat dissolving? No, the answer is no. FDA has not approved LED light therapy for fat dissolving or fat loss. Now it is used sometimes off-label use for uh, fat, fat burning, but the way it does that is again making your body cells healthy. If you are in the path of losing fat, it can aid in it. If you do, let's say you do infrared and red light on your uh, midsection area and then you go work out, you, you will be able to burn that fat more efficiently just because now your body cells are in a healthier state. Therefore, it can aid in the fat loss. But FDA has not approved that method as of now uh, for fat loss. But I think I know you're referring to a specific machine. I've seen those commercials also. They show you like a little heating diode and they put a little piece of fat on it and then the fat melts. Uh, no, this technology is complete um, scam, I would say even. I think this is a scam because our bodies do not work that way. If we put heat on our body, uh, the fat does not melt away like that. Um, if it did, we would be just puddles of fat walking around. So that machine, I, w I will go ahead and say that do not waste your money on that. It's a bit of a scam. Okay, question number two. Which devices that are on Amazon have these or similar specifications? Okay, so I have looked at Amazon and um, I have not bought any of those machine machines for myself. I just don't want to put my money towards that because there is no proof that those devices have any kind of uh, correct specifications needed. Even though they list the nanometers in the description box, I am not certain which manufacturer they came from. Uh, there's no other paperwork or they haven't even done their own clinical trials to prove uh, before and afters and anything like that. Plus, if there's only like three to nine lights on the little device, uh, that little device will never be able to work as efficiently as a professional grade lights do those three or to nine lights on a little device, it's not going to do anything for you, unfortunately. Especially funny are those I've seen. You can plug into your phone with a USB cable. It just doesn't have enough power to do that. The professional grade devices oftentimes need more voltage as well. So think of it this way, if you plug your refrigerator into your phone, it just simply wouldn't work. So some devices to work efficiently and do the change they need to be doing, they need more power, more voltage to do so. Hope that makes sense. Okay, next one, number three. Can you also mention the specifications to look out for that can cause health risks? That's actually a good question. There's normally no health risks for the usage of LED for light therapy purposes, but if you are searching for a device on, um, you know, let's say eBay on, or on Amazon or something like that, even though they have listed the nanometers in there, let's say you're going for a blue light. So blue light, as we know, is 420 nanometers, but they list as a bandwidth of plus minus 100 nanometers. That takes you down to like 330 nanometers, 330 and lower, it's a UV light. So then, you know, UV light is extremely damaging as we know and can cause a lot of damage to your skin. So you definitely do not wanna use UV light. So stay away for those specifications if they say bandwidth of plus minus five nanometers 
computers so then that would be okay as of now companies are starting to pop up with these little devices here and there and there's still a lot of improvement room to make them efficient for home care. Okay, next question, number four. I don't know the science, but as a customer, should I be aware, am I being ripped off? Uh, so as, as a customer myself, I would be reluctant to buy those little devices with just few lights on them because I know they're not going to do anything for me. Now there is a couple companies here now in US, many estheticians have had a lot of success using some of the companies I can mention are um, Seluma is one of the newer ones and I think it's more affordable too. You can buy, I think it's around $600 and I believe they sell for customers as well, not only licensed professionals. And then there's uh, Light Stem. I believe is a popular one too and uh, the professional grade one that everybody uh, medical spas that I have used before and also a lot of plastic surgeon places use it now they are called light wave uh, now the pricing for those devices go is very high it's I think it ranges from 20,000 to up to 100,000 they have a full body one as well um, and I know a lot of celebrities have the full body one at their house I mean that now you know why Tom Cruise hasn't aged. This is just a speculation, but um, you know, definitely life goals. Next two questions, five and six, I can put them together. Kind of, can you explain ionic, galvanic, multipolar, bipolar, radio frequency, infrared, ultrasonic? Be efficient or should be purchased separately uh, so yeah these are all separate devices so this one probably requires a different video to explain all these other devices and to work efficiently they are yeah since they are different things they should be different machines uh, or separate machines one machine cannot be radio frequency and LED light together so they can't be uh, bundled into one device it just it, it just doesn't work like that you know if you have any other questions about this topic you can let me know in the comments below and I'll get back to you I hope you learned something new today thank you for watching and I'll see you soon bye bye